Hi, everybody. I'm Scott Russell. This is the ISL on Road to the Olympic Games. The best swimmers on the planet are making waves in the Budapest bubble, and the expansion Toronto Titans are off to a great start. They're a good bet to make the semifinals. Match five and the London Roar maintain their perfect record. Another win built on great performances by Canadian Sydney Pickram in the medleys and Jamaican breaststroke specialist Alia Atkinson. London edged out the LA Current and Tokyo Frog Kings, while the DC Trident ended up fourth. The Roar accumulated 499 points. 29 year old Tom Shields was on the fly for the current in this one. The Olympic champion in the 4x100 medley for the United States, Shields dominated the butterfly races in this match and won the 50 meter skin showdown to claim the title of match MVP and the $10,000 bonus. In match six, the Toronto Titans got great swims out of their women's lineup again. In particular, co captain Kylie Moss, the world backstroke champion who ended up winning the skins and finishing so close to the top in the MVP standings. The Titans wound up a strong second to last year's champion's energy standard and well ahead of the New York Breakers and Aqua Centurions. The MVP of the match was a youngster for energy standard, a team competing without its injured superstar, Olympic champion Sarah Schustrom. 22-year-old Siobhan Hockey of Irish heritage who will compete for Hong Kong at the Tokyo Olympics, led the way in the freestyle races and finished just four points ahead of Kylie Moss. It was the closest MVP race to date in the ISL. Here are the standings after six matches. Callie Condors and the London Roar remain undefeated and both have two matches left. The Toronto Titans seem to be well positioned to make it to the semi-final eight at the Duna Arena. DC Trident and Aqua Centurions are in trouble. The Toronto Titans return to the pool for match seven this week. Not much time for head coach Byron McDonald to rest his team. They'll have to continue to rely on Canadian talent in order to stay with the leaders and secure a berth in the semifinals. DC Trident is in tough. They need a strong performance from 23-year-old American Zach Apple, who won five gold medals at the 2019 World University Games. Team Iron is swimming at home, and Hungarian superstar 31-year-old Katinka Hosu leads the way. She's a three-time Olympic champ and has won an amazing 26 gold medals at the World Championships, both long and short course. Energy Standard is gathering steam, and so is their sprint sensation, 29-year-old Florent Manadou of France, who is an Olympic champion and won the freestyle skins last time out. Speaking of skins, Kylie Moss of the Toronto Titans is part of a powerful women's medley relay, a backstroke superstar, and a threat to pick up big points in the skins, according to three-time Olympic champion and the voice of the ISL, Rowdy Gaines. Scott, I, I love Kylie Moss. I love to watch her swim. She's one of the prettiest backstrokers I've ever seen swim. Just from a technique standpoint, um, she races so well. And she can swim everything from the 50, obviously, that she won the skins all the way up to a 200. Olympic bronze medalist in the 100. Um, as you said, world champion but also a world record holder, former world record holder now, but still, she had the world record. I, so I think that's, you combine all those things and um, it's, it's a real motivating factor for her. I know she'd love to get that world record back, but at the, at the very end of the day, she's a delightful person. You know, I, I love watching her swim, but I love the way she handles herself out of the pool as well. Match seven featuring Kylie Moss, Kelsey Wog, and the Toronto Titans is live streaming Thursday and Friday, November 5th and 6th, respectively, at 4 a.m. ET Thursday, and again at 4 a.m. Friday. It's all available as it happens on our website, cbcsports.ca. We'll have wall-to-wall -wall Titans action this weekend on Road to the Olympic Games with Andy Petrillo. Saturday at 2 p.m. ET, a full four hours of match six, then Sunday at 1 p.m. local, and again at midnight, we'll have all of match number seven involving the Titans. It's a big week for Canadian swimming and the ISL on CBC.